What's up, y'all? It has been a minute since I made a YouTube video, and I think it's about time that I pick it back up because it really makes me happy being creative and documenting cool stuff going on in my life. And I did that in Pennsylvania just because I didn't have any friends or family up there, so I was just kind of keeping skating and documenting like my progression up there and uh, that that like those years of my life. And don't live in Pennsylvania anymore. I now live in Florida. I did a couple videos in Florida, but then that's when YouTube kind of fell off. But there's a lot of stuff that I could get into living in this place, particularly living in this place with my friends has been really cool and kind of inspired me to document it all because we've all been really motivated to do cool stuff. And then uh, I got tattoos, I, um, we set up the skate park outside all the time, got a new car. There's a whole bunch of stuff we could get into. Uh, we're filming for a skate video and there'll be all sorts of adventures in that aspect. So I'm gonna just, I, I was like hesitant and I'm like, you know, I should probably get a new camera. I should do this, I should do that beforehand. But I'm just saying screw it, you know, I'm just using my phone. I do have that one camera still, um, but I'm just gonna see how like kind of vlog style videos look with my cell phone. So um, this is the beginning of it. But that's enough of that. I think that the easiest way to kind of jump back into it and kind of re-familiarize anyone who is curious about what I got going on is to do a Q&A video. So I've got a handful of questions that I'll answer. Actually, we'll come in here um, to my room. This has become one of my favorite places ever because uh, uh, this is my bedroom, but then right off the side, we've got a spare room here. And it is, it's become the Shred Grip Art Studio. I had Shred Grip going on back whenever I uh, did YouTube before, but I've kind of like taken it up a notch and have been setting up at venues and selling it. So I got the display of grip tape and whatnot. And then uh, this is also the podcast studio. That's one of the most significant changes in my life is me and my brother started City of Palms podcast. And this is where we re record every week. And um, I also record my audio book. I was writing the book at the time when I started YouTube, but now I've finished. I've, it's pretty much finished and I've been recording an audio book with the same equipment. So yeah, this is the setup. And I, um, I think this would be the best place to film like talking sorts of videos because we've got the soundproofing and uh, the lighting and all that stuff. So um, let's just jump into it, screw it. All right, I don't wanna make this video too long. I just wanna kinda of get back warmed up with making videos and all that stuff to get back in the flow of it. So I'll just answer a handful of these questions I have here and uh, let's jump into it, man. All right, so first question, what would you change about yourself if you could? If I could change anything about myself, I'm a strong believer that like I am the way I am, and so I, I'm not t like I, I don't think I'd change any like physical features or anything like that, and even a lot of your traits, you know, like that's just like kind of makes up your personality and who you are. But I think my one of my biggest flaws that I wish I could change probably perfectionism. I think that in small doses, it's like like I have a good work ethic and stuff, and I do um, do try to do the best job I can at all times, but sometimes. Perfectionism is also a vice, and I got kind of got I, I got to work on picking and choosing when everything needs to be perfect and when uh, to just let it go. You know if that makes any sense. Uh, next question: What motivates you to work hard? Uh, this kind of goes with the ties along with the last question. So I don't really I don't chase like money or anything like that. Like I'm not um, chasing a bigger paycheck with how hard I work. I think I think if I had to give a just a short and simple answer. I just want to make life easier for me and everyone around me, you know, or maybe not easier, but better. I just want to m improve life for myself and for those around me. So I think I work so hard so that I can have a better life because, you know, by getting paychecks and uh, buying the things I need to live and whatever, be efficient. And then also improve the lives of those around me. Like a lot of the reason that I work hard is so that other people don't have to work as hard or, or so that they, you know, so that I can help everybody as a community. Next question. Okay. Um, this one says, what do your tattoos mean? Um, I don't really have, I don't really put meaning into my tattoos too much. Like I'm not the kind of person that is like, everything's got to like symbolize something or whatever. But, uh, my ma my sleeve is Lord of the Rings. I've got, um, I've got the Urukai and the tower, the tower or think, you know? from Isengard, for those of you that know Lord of the Rings, but, uh, cause that's, uh, that's something that has, like, inspired me ever since I was a little kid, it's, like, Tolkien's literature and stuff, it really influences my life, so I guess that is the meaning behind that, just because I do love the story so much, and then, um, on the back of my arm, that doesn't mean anything, it's just skulls, cause I like skulls, and then my other main tattoo is my rib, that one kind of means something, it says, don't fear the reaper, and it's a cool 
art of the Grim, Grim Reaper. I guess because, like, I'm a strong believer that, like, you shouldn't fear death, you know? Like, you shouldn't live your life out of fearing dying, you know? Like, you should you should live your life out of loving living, if that makes any sense. I don't know. I, I just think that too many people um, are too worried about dying all the time, you know? And sometimes you just gotta just face the fact that you're here for a finite amount of time and you just gotta make the best of it while you're here. So, anyways, next question. What is, what's your favorite book? Um, Lord of the Rings. I think I kind of, kind of answered that from my, I've got a lot of favorite books and there's a lot of like young adult fiction like Harry Potter and, uh, Percy Jackson and the Olympians. Like I got a lot of favorite books, but, um, definitely Lord of the Rings. Number one, for sure. No doubt. Um, next question. What's the last movie you went to? Um, Spider-Man. I saw Spider-Man Far From Home with my roommates and... It was really good. Uh, I, I love the Avengers and Marvel and all that stuff, and I think that they really nailed it with Far From Home. Plus, I just love Tom Holland as Spider-Man. Honestly, I think he's one of the best Spider-Mans that we've ever had in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Okay, next question. What would be your perfect job? This is also something I think everyone thinks about on a daily basis. I think about this all the time. Currently, I work, I'm work. i a manager at Aldi, and I've been manager at restaurants before and stuff like that. And this is why I say I don't chase a paycheck, because I've had opportunities to make a lot more money um, with companies I've worked for, but, um, but I don't see those as, like, ideal jobs, you know, like, even though I might be making more money and, uh, might be more comfortable and stuff, I think my perfect job would be something creative. I think if I could somehow make a living, just some sort of decent living off of, like, my art and just, like, my creative side, you know, because I think, like, whenever you work a just, like, typical nine-to-five job for some company or whatever, when you're a really creative person, it just kind of like restricts your brain and whatnot because like I'm the kind of person, like creative people, they think outside the box, you know what I'm saying? So like to constantly be having to work inside this box and this, these like parameters and stuff like that, it's uh, not fulfilling really. So even though you might be getting a bigger paycheck, I don't think that's the most fulfilling and perfect job. So I don't have like an exact occupation title that would be my perfect job, but just something creative, maybe artist or something like that. Who is the most inspirational person to you? Um, honestly, lately, probably um, Neen Williams, professional skateboarder. I've, I've been following him on social media for a really long time, and uh, I think I started, I've always liked his skating and stuff, but I think I really started looking into him whenever I hurt my knee in Pennsylvania, because I know he had some videos with the barracks where he went over, he had some like knee surgeries and stuff like that, tore both of his knees and his recovery process. I looked in those videos and then that made me start following him on social media and he's really into like cooking and fitness and stuff now. So his, his whole presence on social media is really inspiring to a lot of people. But I think he, just with everything I got going on right now with um, fitness and skateboarding and uh, entrepreneurship and stuff like that, he's, he's been a huge help to me. All right, I'll just do a couple more. So, um, do you believe in ghosts? I think I want to believe in ghosts. I don't know, it's one of those things. I actually, this is funny, me and Danny ask this to every guest in the podcast. At the end of the interview, we ask them if they have any crazy ghost stories because I'm someone who I don't have any ghost stories, so I really don't have a reason to believe in ghosts, but I don't not believe them in them, if that makes sense. Like, like that's why I ask people because I like hearing about crazy stories and unexplainable events and stuff because none of that has ever happened to me. So, um, I don't know. This question says, what type of car would you be? <laughs> I don't know what that means. I don't know. Maybe a... <laughs> a Prius or something if it was blacked out. <laughs> Okay, this is a good one. Where would you like to be in five years' time? I actually just went over this with my brother Danny uh, because, as I mentioned, we started City of Palms podcast, and that's something that we're trying to put a lot of our time and effort into. And our goal in five years, I think we want to be, we want to eventually be a presence in the community to where we could have like some sort of warehouse or something like that. Like Ride Nature is some local people that they have a ramp and skaters can come there anytime and skate it. They have regular like barbecues and events and stuff like that and it's really cool for the community. And me and Danny want to get on something like that. And my roommate Kyle Claxton, he's, uh, he does skating with snacks. That's actually what this shirt is. All three of us really want to, by that time, five years time, I think we want to have a warehouse, uh, maybe even just a small one to where we can have people, you know, like have it available for skaters to come and skate because we don't have a skate park right now in this area. And maybe we will in five years, but 
assuming we won't, we want to be a place for people to go and um, we want to have the podcast. We want to interview lots of cool people from around the community to show that there's a lot of cool talent here. There's great musicians, great artists, great athletes, skateboarders. There's a lot of really cool people in the Southwest Florida. So by five years, I want to be that presence that is shedding light on all these cool people and uh, businesses. We also try to shout out local businesses and restaurants and stuff that are really killing it. And in five years, hopefully we're going to make some serious headway for real. All right, let's end it on a light note because that, uh, that last question was pretty serious about life and stuff. What is a hidden talent that you have? Um, I'm going to do it like I've never done it and I want to run it and I want to keep it going and going like infinity be the only entity to ever rip it apart from the start like this, from the heart like this. I'll be murdering the minimize a minute with no nitrous, do it righteous. I, I've been down this road before. I know like every Logic song. I know like every word of every Logic song. That's my hidden talent. <laughs> All right, but that'll do it. I think I'm going to end it there. That was a nice uh, mixture of serious, informational, and fun little questions. So, um, but before I go, I do, I already kind of mentioned a lot of this throughout the video, but a couple things that I have going on that I want you to know about. Um, first and foremost, my Instagram, prof.shred, Professor Shred. Um, you can find links to pretty much everything I'm about to say there. That's where I post very frequently about everything I got going on. But Primarily, City of Palms podcast. We uh, an episode comes up every Monday. We inter my brother and I interview um, lots of people from around the community. Um, just very talented people that I want people to know about. That we want people to know about. Uh, every Monday, you can see interviews um, on that, and we keep it lighthearted and fun there. So, City of Palms podcast every Monday. I still have Shred Grip. I still post lots of art. I've been doing a lot of canvas stuff aside from uh, grip tape for skateboards. So you can find all my art on at Shred Grip on Instagram. And I post a lot of it on Professor Shred Instagram too. Um, other than that, I have my book I'm working on too. If you are a fan of young adult fantasy, that's one of my favorite genres. So if you, you know, like if you played RuneScape as a kid, if you, um, you like Harry Potter, especially if you like medieval type stuff, like Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit and whatnot. My book is called Helm, and I have a lot of information on it on my Instagram. Uh, more recently, I've been working on an audiobook, so if you want to read the most recent draft of Helm, a chapter goes up just about every week, every other week sometimes, um, and it's on Spotify, it's on Apple, everything I'm talking about, the podcast and the audiobook are both on most platforms, Facebook, YouTube, Spotify, Apple Music, all that goodness. And other than that, I did want to mention one more time Skating with Snacks. Uh, my roommate Kyle Claxton is starting up this nonprofit organization because he wants to he wants to shed light on the community just like Danny and I do with the podcast. Except he is focusing on the youth. He wants to get skate parks built so that uh, young kids have places to go like we did when we were kids that uh, just have cool events, uh, promote healthy eating and exercise and stuff like that. So I definitely want to shout out Kyle Claxton and all his stuff. You can find most of his stuff on Instagram too at Skating with Snacks at Kyle Claxton. He's all over the place. So. I know that was a lot of shout outs and self plugging, but I got a lot going on and I want you all to see it and know about it. I think that, like I said, this is a really cool time in my life and my friends' lives, so I, I want to just document it. So I'm going to start making YouTube videos again. Thanks for watching today. I'm going to try to make it a weekly thing. So if you dig what Professor Shred is doing, then keep tuning in and there's going to be a lot more where that come, came from. I post on my Instagram very frequently too, so if you want to check me out there, go ahead and do it. Thank you so much. Tune in next time. Peace. Like them apples.